Today marks the end of Fair Trade Fortnight and there have been various events to support the campaign. Staffordshire University handed out free tasters to students to help them incorporate fair trade products into their weekly shop. Now, here at the local church St Mark's, Father Tim Carter is doing all that he can to get the locals involved in the fair trade spirit. Well, the basic idea is that um, products that are bought here are bought at a premium so that the people who farm the products, who grow the chocolate, grow the tea, grow the raw materials that go into it, are paid a fair wage. And fair is defined as something that allows them to live, to have safe water. And also there's a premium that's paid into their communities to pay for educational projects, infrastructure stuff, so that clean water's there for them the whole time. Um, I went in to do an assembly at the local school on Monday, uh, sharing with, it, with the kids, um, and they were very positive about the idea of something that they could actually practically do uh, to make a difference to people's lives. When you go to the shops, look for the fair trade mark. Um, and I think with fair trade, it's not to let the things that you can't do stop you doing the things that you can do. So we can't all buy everything fair trade. It's, it's sold at a premium, it's expensive. But that doesn't mean that some weeks you can't buy fair trade. Um, and beyond your weekly shop, there's uh, campaigns. Uh, there's a big campaign being run um, at the moment. If you put uh, fair trade into Google, you'll come up with plenty of national websites running campaigns to persuade people like Tetley and PG Tips and Yorkshire Tea to switch to fair trade. And those campaigns make a difference. Nestle's launched Fair Trade Kit Kats. Cadbury's launched Fair Trade Dairy Milk. It really is making it into the mainstream. That's a result of people persistently putting pressure on the companies to do it by writing and by the way they spend their money. The other things we're doing here at St Mark's towards the end of the fortnight on the Sunday in the afternoon, we're having an event here where we have tea and coffee, fair trade, cakes, things people have made for people to come and try, see if they like it and then they can go and buy it. And that's at 3 o'clock here um, in Shelton on Sunday, the 7th of March. That'd be great. So whether it's a pack of biscuits or your favourite brand of tea, please don't forget to continue supporting Fairtrade. Orianil Ere for Staffs Live TV.